Hello everyone, what's up? So, I know I said I wouldn't upload till May, but this video is just for my classmates to help them with the article question of my English exam because most of us have trouble with it. So I've been researching it and I've came to make this little guide. So here I am sharing it with everybody. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. I'm just gonna give some comments and uh, and clarify some things but everything is, is is explained in the document itself which I'm gonna link into the description along with other links to vocabulary and grammar and stuff anyway the the art the article is a discursive text uh, and its purpose is to show the examiner if you're capable of expressing yourself and even convincing people of your opinion using English so First of all, I, I have here an example question about nuclear technology and uh, it's, thankfully most questions, most tasks are very clear and uh, very easy to understand. You'll pick which side uh, you want to argue for and then think of an interesting title. If you don't have an interesting title, just write whatever you have, don't waste time. Consider about, about three ideas, like you don't have be three exactly, could be two, could be four, could be one idea against, could be two idea against. Uh, think the idea that you're gonna put against you must be easy to counter. You are going to counter the counter argument, making your argument stronger. So don't get, don't give, don't think of just counter arguments for the sake of counter arguments. Put them and think of how you how you put them to twist it to your own advantage like for example people fear that it would destroy the world the nuclear technology using nuclear bombs so the counter argument would be no I have here in the paragraph what I've said this threat that countries uphold is the very reason no destruction is taking place as no country is willing to wage war against another in avoidance to the devastation that would benefit neither side. So it actually, I actually made it as a benefit, as it maintains peace. So that's the point of how to counter the counter argument. Then bring a, an argument that you can't counter. I think if you're not, if your own ideas, don't take uh, ideas from the bubbles that they have in the in the question. They really mark high from uh, for thinking of unique original ideas. Uh, starting with the introduction, you you'll start with the with the topic sentence and referring to the issue that you are going to talk about. What are you going to talk about? Nuclear technology. What about it? It has some positive and negative uses, and uh, the balance of which is a great of point debate. And my opinion is start with the thesis statement that there is more benefits than disadvantages to the nuclear technology. Why? What's, how will you defend that argument? That is mainly due to environmental and financial re and health reasons. The body now goes into specific details, uh, starting with the first element in the expository statement, which is environmental, f uh, environmental benefits in this article. Now, uh, the body will have topic sentences and development to these sentences. The topic sentences, I have them in red and the development in green and uh, the brackets uh, explain what, de what, development, what development is here, what the development here is. Uh, so the, the topic sentence introduces the idea generally and it should relate to the previous topic sentence so that you would have cohesion and coherence, coherence along your writing. Uh, here, I'm g one of the, adva the, the advantages I'm gonna talk about are environmental and financial reasons first, and these are due to the usage of nuclear energy. So I'm bringing up fossil fuels to put, it, to put them against each other and uh, compare them to make my argument stronger here. So, first one, I'm talking about how it's cleaner in terms of its effect on nature. This is the general idea, and then I develop it. 
then the next topic sentence should relate to the previous one, talking about how it provides harmless energy, and then introduce the new idea, how it's far less costly. Look at, make sure it's rephrased, don't say financial reasons again, don't say environmental reasons again, like change the words, paraphrase, clean in, it in, in, its, in terms of its effect on nature, far less costly. Now then, the uh, development and then the last topic sentence, in addition to improving the economy's health, that's the reference to the previous topic sentence, how it's far less costly, improving economy's health, and then get into the development. I did not introduce the idea clearly, like saying how it helps our health, but uh, it, it's just, it's, it is concluded in our minds, because I, it, I consider this the weakest point, as I said here, order your prose from strongest to weakest, and this is considered to be the weakest. Uh, the second body paragraph should address the other side of the argument and should be brief, as I said, one to two ideas so that it wouldn't weaken your argument and make sure you can twist it to your advantage, as I, as I have said here. The topic sentence here should refer to the previous paragraph, okay, despite its clear contributions to humanity, which is these. Many people still fear its horrific destruction capabilities this is, that, this is the transition onto the opposite thesis. Now we develop this by countering it like I have shown here. It's the very reason no destruction is taking place. Why develop that? By saying that no country is willing to wage war against another. The conclusion sums up the introduction along with the body. You start with paraphrasing your thesis that you, that you said in the... Uh, introduction, but make sure you state it as a fact. It's, you don't think that this is something. Now, you, you, this is, it, it's just is. There is no thinking about it. It's a fact. The benefit of the benefits of nuclear technology are quite clear, and that includes the threat it presents. It includes the threat. And then you rephrase the main points it allows us to breathe cleaner air because of low emissions, improves our economy being better, being a better investment, and improves our health. So this is the full, all, full article. It's about 264. It's 264 words. Uh, it's 263 excluding piece. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it, this would take 16 out of 19 or even higher, I believe. I think, but. I'm, I'm judging like that because I think it still has much more room for improvement when it comes to transitions, a uh, variety of grammatical structures and the vocabulary itself could be more complicated. Anyway, I haven't talked about the guidelines. These, there is a lot of guidelines, but I have gathered what I think is the most important. Uh, make sure it's formal. Don't... Uh, with formal I mean not like... Uh, uh, political speech, more like avoid anything informal, uh, like uh, contractions instead of it's, say it is, and uh, a lot of phrasal verbs, just turn it down a little bit, and slang of course, no slang, like wanna, and any swear words, and uh, f informal words themselves, like show off, and death, no, n not death, what, what the hell, <laughs> keep your audience in mind, uh, like we write usually we write for the school magazine and local newspaper so with the local newspaper you are writing for your fellow students and in the local newspaper you are writing for your neighbors and friends so just keep that in mind avoid extreme flowery language flowery language is the language used in, in novels like literary novels and stuff here's an example I got home pretty late that night, and when he climbed cautiously in at the window, he uncovered an ambuscade in the, in the person of his aunt. And when she saw the state his clothes were in, her resolution to turn his Saturday holiday into captivity at hard labor became adamantine in its firmness. What the hell is this? It's, it does not work in the article, because you... <laughs> You're writing for your, for your students 
or in the local newspaper they are not writing a story. Even in the letter, this would totally wreck the letter even more than the article. Even more than the article. So avoid uh, extreme flowery language. It's like uh, it's, uh, this. It's, it's like you know, cheesy lines, like tickling your eardrums and and, and weird things. Like uh, can be the solace and joys and sorrows. Like there is phrases usually used. Uh, commonly used the, these are, are not necessary and does not doesn't show that you're good at English it shows that you don't understand what are you writing where are you writing you are writing in a, in a magazine or a newspaper so this is not how we write in these two pieces of text uh, the second thing uh, use formal idioms that will be in the description, don't worry. And interesting vocabulary will be there as well, along with these words that you should avoid. These are archaic words, very old fashioned, used in historical novels or for a humorous effect. Like, the same goes for flowery language as well, it could be used for a humorous effect. Like, for example, the exercise that was talking about music. How you download music for free? You could say, <laughs> how different is downloading music for free from strolling through the supermarket and coming across uh, a fancy chocolate and thinking, oh, this is moderately exorbitant, therefore I shall take it and depart from here. <laughs> it's 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 funny because it's 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 unexpected at first and it's very very. Uh, archaic, very old-fashioned, like no one talks like this, and we are talking about the chocolates. So it, it takes a lot of setup, otherwise the, the examiner would, uh, would think we are actually serious and he will take away marks. So it would take many words. I think the, this, what I said, might be 30 words maybe? So that's like sixth of the article, of the article gone. It would be really nice if you can make it, if you can think of something brief, but don't worry about it while in the exam. The uh, entire, uh, they, they don't read that about that, they don't think about that too much. And when I say avoid these words, avoid them with this meaning. Like, addition, for example, avoid addition as the power of hearing. Like, don't say his addition was weak. But, addition also has another meaning when you go with a, to an interview to uh, to test you, uh, interview testing your singing ability for or acting ability for a movie or something an interview for a role for a, of, or a job as a singer actor dancer or musician consisting of a practical demonstration of the candidate's suitability and skill this is okay to use but this is Never okay to use the uh, the archaic meaning, the power of hearing or listening. It's not okay to use in the article itself. Like it's uh, like use it of course in uh, if you're writing a story or something, uh, or for humorous uh, reasons. Uh, last but not least, they demonstrate a variety of grammatical structures. With the grammatical structures, I mean the the use sentence types, dependent clauses and phrases structures. And the fundamentals, you should already have very good fundamentals. The, this, this, this will be in the description as well. Okay, I hope you, uh, you, uh, you, you uh, <laughs> can't find words. I hope you have uh, learned a couple things. I hope I have helped. And uh, good luck with your exams and uh, bye. Thanks for watching.